Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurological and developmental disorder characterized by difficulty with language, social communication issues, and repetitive behaviors. It affects all levels of behavior, communication, and learning, beginning in early childhood and extending throughout the lifespan. Another important aspect of autism spectrum disorder is that spectrum part. Autism presents along a wide spectrum of diverse abilities and disabilities. Children with severe autism do not talk. They may have low intelligence and emotional regulation, as well as severe learning disabilities. They may also engage in repetitive behaviors such as flapping their arms or rocking back and forth and repeating sounds and words. Individuals with mild autism, which used to be called Asperger syndrome, might be extremely high functioning. They may not have any specific language delays and can have average or above average intelligence. What sets individuals with this disorder apart from neurotypical populations is their lack of insight with regards to social intelligence. They might be socially awkward, have trouble understanding social conventions, and may appear to lack empathy. A small percentage of people with autism demonstrate gifted abilities in specialized areas, for example, music, art, or math. These savants may exhibit great feats of memory, complete complicated math calculations in their head, or produce remarkable works of art. While incredible, this savant behavior is the exception and not the rule. As for the causes of autism, early theorists blamed parents, attributing the disorder to cold and rejecting mothers. We now know that this is not the case and that autism is most likely caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors, like prenatal infection. In 1998, a British doctor named Andrew Wakefield published a paper associating vaccines with autism spectrum disorders. Although this has been debunked, and the original paper was discredited due to unethical research practices and biased analyses, this hasn't stopped celebrities and talk show hosts from talking about the supposed health risks of vaccines. So let me be perfectly clear. Numerous large-scale studies conducted around the world show that there is no credible link between vaccines and autism. Any increases in rates of diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder are due to greater awareness of the disorder, as well as improved diagnostic techniques. Unfortunately for all of us, Wakefield has left a lasting legacy. Fears about vaccines have led to a decrease in vaccination rates in many industrialized nations. And in turn, this has increased outbreaks of preventable diseases like measles, which can negatively impact a child's brain development.